hey, this week, um, you're actually going to have to read some comics, so look down in the description for a link. It'll be right there. You can do it. Go. This week, we're talking about The End, a sci-fi comic that you hopefully read a part of before I talk about a little of the section I chose in particular. Rand and Corey Brown, a Canadian duo, started the comic a little over four, five years ago. They created an adventure comic about a team of characters who get together when they are abducted by aliens and become embroiled in a large-scale conspiracy when everything goes wrong. I recommend this comic because it is a great example of a long-form sci-fi adventure. You get to learn about all the alien races just, at, just the same way as the characters do in this setting. And I highly recommend checking out the wiki behind the comic for a lot of tidbits behind all the races that they meet. Also, I love the coloring of this comic. It does have its own palette when you've been reading it. Colors play not only an important part of the story, but also an important part of its aesthetics. And there are currently 18 chapters in this, so there's a lot to stay, sink your teeth into. I feel that it started off weak because they were just starting the comic, but it really does grow into it as the characters find their place with each other and eventually find their place in the universe, quote unquote. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the if. They are an alien race with very similar characteristics to humans. And if you read, you probably got to learn, learn a little bit about their monoculture. And I find this very fascinating. The Ith monoculture formed because of some miscellaneous reasons in the comic, but nonetheless, there is one global culture on their world. And it's divided into castes which have their own subcultures, really, but since the Ith are so very similar to humans, it's an interesting fact that this is what we might look like one day. And I don't think this is necessarily bad, because in that world we would have finally peace and stability. We would be one people. We would be human, not American or British or Russian. We would be human. There is some problems I see with it. We would lack that the cultural diversity. We would be taking the good of a lot of the cultures across the world and putting them as our own, but we'd also be taking some of the bad as well it, when it eventually forms. Our cultural evolution would stagnate, I believe. Yes, it would continue to change as, as any culture does, but it would not change as much as we have it right now. But in the future, this means it will be assimilated into one single culture. We would have a huge cultural genocide over the course of millennia. And it's happening right now. I mean, currently there's hundreds of world's languages, and they're slowly dwindling down as more people continue to learn major languages instead of keeping their cultural heritage. This alien race example is an example of the fullest extent of this thought experiment. What happens when there is finally peace, in one way, at the end of millennia of evolution? Foreseeably, this won't happen. But over the course of eons, it will. Over the next couple dozen lifetimes, I still foresee cultures maintaining on different continents because of just that geological difference. But I do see it eventually, humanity will, in some way or another, unite itself, and then we will have a monoculture and have to deal with this lack of diversity. Hmm. Still pretty cool. So, I have to ask all of you, will, the monocul will our monoculture be a good thing? Until next time.